Hi. Now in this tutorial what I want to do is show you how to integrate exponential functions. And I've got two examples that I'm going to leave you with at the end of the tutorial and I'll show you how to work them out but you might like to have a go at these. But if you're unsure of how to do these then what we need to do is go back and look at some basic ones and then hopefully you'll be able to attempt these. So let's just remove these and we'll start with y equals e to the power x. We should already know that if we were to differentiate this with respect to x, in other words find dy by dx, it turns out that it's still e to the power x. And what this means is that integration being the inverse or the reverse of differentiation, it means that if we're ever asked to integrate say e to the power x with respect to x then what is it that we differentiate that gives us this? Well clearly it was e to the power x so the answer would be e to the power x. We mustn't forget that if we had a constant here like say plus 1 when we differentiate the 1 it would go to 0 and just still leave us with the e to the power x. So in integration we have to put plus a constant. I'm going to call it plus c, the constant of integration. Now not only will we just be asked to integrate e to the power x but there are going to be occasions when for instance there will be a constant here. Let's go back to say if we have y equals say 4e to the power x. If you differentiate this it's still going to be that constant times the differential of e to the x so it will be 4e to the power x. If it was 5e to the power x it will still be 5e to the x when you differentiate it and so on. So in general if you have a constant, let's get rid of that 4, let's have a constant, let's say it's big A. Then when you differentiate it, you'll still end up with that constant A multiplied by e to the power x. So if we have any constant A times e to the x and we've got to integrate it with respect to x, then the answer will be that constant A multiplied by e to the power x for c. And so this is a result that we're going to need to commit to memory. And um, we'll just box that round there like so. Okay, so try and remember that result. And here's an example that you might like to uh, try. Suppose we've got the integral, say, of 2 sevenths of e to the power x with respect to x. What's the answer going to be? Well our constant a is going to be the 2 sevenths. We can think of this as just bringing the 2 sevenths in fact out the front of the integral. You've still got e to the x integrated with respect to x to do. So you're going to get 2 sevenths e to the power x plus the constant of integration plus c. OK, well, that's fairly straightforward. But let's just extend this now. Suppose we had to differentiate, say, something of the form y equals e to the power ax plus b, where a and b are constants. Well, we should know that by the chain rule, and if you're unsure of this, just go back on my tutorials for the chain rule, differentiating exponential functions. In the tutorials that I did there, this was exactly the same as calling this t. When we differentiated e to the t, we got back e to the t from the result up here. So in other words, you get e to the ax plus b. But you also then have to differentiate, multiply it by the differential of ax plus b, which just gives us a. And so we end up with an a at the front here. OK, now this was the chain rule. And as I say, if you're unsure of this, just go back to my tutorials on the chain rule. But I'm assuming that you're familiar with this particular result. And so that means that 
if we're ever asked to integrate anything of the form a e to the power a x plus b Now if I had a constant in the front of this function, let's say big A again, we've seen up here that the A stays in the differentiation. So do y dx equals big A times little a e to the power ax plus b. Now what happens if I say divide through by an A, little a this time, okay? Let's put little a underneath here. Can you see what happens? These a's cancel one another out. So what I'm left with is just simply a e to the power ax plus b when I differentiate this. So what this means is that if I ever have to integrate a e to the power ax plus b, what was it? that I differentiated that gave me this result. Well from what you see up here it must have been big A over little a e to the power ax plus b and then plus a constant of integration of course. So here's another result, a more general result that you need to commit to memory. So again, we'll just box that so that you can see that result. Now let's see if we can put some of these ideas together now, okay? Let's take some more examples. Let's suppose we've got to integrate, for instance, 3 fifths e to the 2x with respect to x. Well, this is going to be something along these kind of lines here. The b value here is simply going to be 0. Our a value is the 3 fifths. The little a is going to be the 2. So when we're doing this we're going to get the constant 3 fifths and then we just need to multiply by 1 half. Remember this is e to the power ax and you get 1 over a at the front here, so that's going to be 1 half and then e to the power 2x and you've got your constant of integration plus c. So we just tidy this up now and we've got 3 over 10, 3 tenths e to the power 2x plus the constant of integration. And here's another one, a bit different we're going to have 4 over 3e to the power 5x. Our exponential function now is in the denominator, the bottom of the fraction. But let's not panic over that. What we've got to do is think of this as 4 thirds multiplied by the integral of 1 over e to the 5x. But 1 over e to the 5x, we bring the uh, function up to the top and then write that as e to the power minus 5x. Remember your negative power rules for indices and that's integrated with respect to x. So what we've got here is something of this particular form. The integral of e to the ax plus b just turns out to be 1 over the little a e to the ax plus b. Our b value is 0 though and our little a value is minus 5. So if we integrate this we've got the constant 4 thirds and then we do minus 1 fifth, we multiply it by minus 1 fifth and then e to the power minus 5x plus c. And what does this reduce to? Well we've got 4 times the minus 1 is going to be minus 4 over 3 times 5 is 15. Minus 4 
fifteenths and then this is being multiplied by 1 over e to the 5x. That's what e to the minus 5x reduces down to. 1 over e to the power 5x. And if you multiply by 1 over e to the power 5x, 4 times 1 is just going to be 4. And we can shift the 15 over a little bit and write the e to the power 5x underneath here. And then plus c. All right? So that's how you handle ones where you've got your exponential in the denominator. Bring it up, make it a negative power. What about this one? We've got the integral then of 2 thirds e to the power 3x minus 2 integrated with respect to x. Here you can see the b value unlike the ones that we did up here. b is minus 2. So what we've got is the constant, two-thirds. Then we, using this rule, we get the one-third multiplied by one-third e to the power 3x minus 2 and then plus the constant integration plus c. So if we multiply this out we've got 2 over 9, two-ninths and then e to the power 3x minus 2 plus the constant c. Alright, so I hope that's given you some kind of idea then of the different styles of examples we can get for integrating exponential functions. And as I said earlier, I've got a couple of problems that you might like to uh, try. The ones that I showed you earlier. And here they are. Just pause the video and come back when ready and I'll run through these with you. Okay, let's see how you got on. Well, for the first one, we've got the 3 and then we multiply it by 1 7th e to the power 7x. We bring that 7 down, okay? 1 7th e to the power 7x. For the next term, it will be minus the constant, 2 thirds, and then we take the 5, remember ax plus b, we take the a part, the 5, and we bring that down. So it becomes 2 thirds multiplied by 1 fifth. And then we've got the exponential function e to the power 5x minus 1. And then we've got the constant of integration, don't forget that, plus c. So we just need to tidy this up, and we've got three sevenths and then that's multiplied by e to the power 7x and for this one we've got minus two fifteenths multiplied by e to the power 5x minus 1 and then the plus c. Now what about this next example? Well we should be okay with this first term. What I've done is I've reverse these terms around. We normally had it in the form ax plus b. Still the a value is the minus 2 and the b value is the 5. And down here we've got our exponential function in the denominator so we need to bring this up to the top. So let's just rewrite this then again as the integral of 3e to the power 5 minus 2x that term's just left the same. And then this one, okay, write this as 3 over 2, 3 over 2, and then bring the e to the 4x up to the top. So that's e to the power minus 4x. Put this in brackets, we've got a couple of terms here, and we're integrating that with respect to x. Okay, now, if we take the first term, the a value here is minus 2. So we're going to have 3 multiplied by minus a half. Remember that goes 1 over the a value. So that's be minus a half. 1 over minus 2. And then it's going to be e to the power, we'll just finish that bracket there, e to the power 5 minus 2x. So that's the first one done. Now we come on to the second one. We've got our constant here, minus 3 over 2. Just put that down. So we've got to integrate e to the minus 4x. So that's going to be 1 over the minus 4, or minus a quarter. 
and then that's being multiplied by e to the power minus 4x and we've got the constant of integration plus c. So just tidy up this first term we've got minus 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2 then e to the power 5 minus 2x. For this next term we've got plus plus 3 eighths plus 3 eighths multiplied by e to the minus 4x but e to the minus 4x is 1 over e to the power 4x so just pop that in there plus c and we can tidy this up this is going to be plus 3 over 80 to the 4x and being a positive term I would be encouraged to write that first and then put the negative term next so I'd write 3 over 80 to the power 4x minus and then 3 over 2 e to the power 5 minus 2x and then plus c. Alright so I hope you're able to manage those then and uh, use these examples to be able to integrate now any exponential type that's similar to this. Okay.